Hey, it's Roger here from What's On Disney Plus.com. A quick news update for you guys on how Peak TV is over. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So over the last few years, we have seen all of the studios just making so many shows for their streaming services, for their linear services, all trying to capture our eyeballs trying to get us to subscribe to platforms and just to keep us engaged and there has just been this ongoing battle the streaming wars as they've been churning out stuff left right and center to try and please us and trying to get us to subscribe however things have all changed the kind of big shift at wall street where they started focusing on profitability over growth meant that the streamers um had to start looking at making money rather than just throwing money and making more and more shows and we've seen all of the streaming services drastically reduce the amount of originals they're making we're seeing with the legacy media companies like disney paramount warner etc they've been starting to integrate more with their linear business because they're essentially running two businesses they were making the stuff for linear and then they were making stuff for streaming and it never really made a lot of sense because you could use you know you got gray's anatomy and abbott elementary and stuff for disney it made sense to use that as your core content for, but they kept making new stuff like Only Murders in the Building, Mandalorian, etc. But we have seen over the last last year, really, they are cutting back. They're cutting back on Star Wars. They're cutting back on Marvel. They're kind of cut back on how much general entertainment content they're making across studios like FX and 20th Television, etc. Because they're trying to save money. And that's the key thing. But this is not just Disney. They've been cancelling shows across the board. There's just shows after shows are being cancelled because they're just not pulling in enough viewers to make it worthwhile. And every year at the Television Critics Association, the head of FX, John Ladgraf, basically gives a presentation about how he talks about um, how many TV shows are being created for adults. And the general number has been continuing to grow year on year, year on year, for over a decade, bar the year of the pandemic when obviously things got hit. Well, um, in um, 2023, we have seen a drastic reduction. So in 2022, there was over 600 adult scripted original series created for broadcast, cable and streaming services. Now, this is just on the US. It is down over 14% to 516 shows being created in 2023. And it's likely that that number is going to be even lower in 2024. Now, the actors and the writers strikes obviously had an impact with things being shut down for a couple of months. But there's no doubt about it, they are making less shows, doing a lot less, and trying to spend less. But it's not just Disney, this is across Netflix, Paramount, all of them, they're all just cutting back. And you only have to look at the numbers, especially for like the, not necessarily just the pandemic era, but the streaming war era, where those numbers were creeping up with like 600 shows being created in 2022 way up and yeah and they're all realizing that this is just an unsustainable model and they're all cutting back and he's been joking for years that we've reached the point of peak tv well now that's it peak tv is over we're going to have a lot less shows um 600 shows a, a year of scripted is a lot and just generally just just too much for us to watch and have a bit less and we might watch more of the ones that are out there and that's a key thing um sometimes less is more better quality um i think we've seen a real push for limited series and just shows that just, just don't last very long because it doesn't work they dump it and they move on to something else um but yeah so the era of peak tv there is just less content being created and like i said this is not just on Disney Plus and Hulu. This is across the whole industry. We're seeing less. You only need each company to drop 10, 15% and suddenly then that's going to have a knock-on effect. So yeah, it's not your imagination. There is less to watch, but the question is, does it then kind of do the opposite thing of, are you more likely to watch um, some shows that maybe go, oh, I've got time for that now. I mean, usually for me, you know, we have a few shows on the go at any given time and we'll kind of, you know, we'll go through them and then we move on to a new one when something comes out. Um, but at some point, you know, you just can't keep up with them all. And I think that's going to be a key thing moving forward. But yeah, the era of peak TV is now over. We are probably never going to get back up to that 600 again. Um, yeah, those, those days are long gone. We're going to have a lot less content to enjoy in terms of adult scripted. You're going to see other stuff coming in. But in general, audiences are split. It's not just about television and streaming. You've got um, video games. You've got books. You've got all kinds of different things that can keep you entertained and away from the screen. Yeah, and I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think there was too many shows? Not enough? I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at whatsonatdisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Laters.